Psalms for the Evening Psalm 4 An Evening Prayer for Help Answer me when I pray, O God, my Defender. When I was in trouble, you helped me. Be kind to me now and hear my prayer. How long will you people insult me? How long will you love what is worthless and go after what is false? Remember that the Lord has chosen the righteous for his own, and he hears me when I call to him. Tremble with fear and stop sinning. Think deeply about this when you lie in silence in your beds. Offer the right sacrifices to the Lord and put your trust in him. There are many who pray, give us more blessings, O Lord. Look on us with kindness. But the joy that you have given me is more than they will ever have with all their green and wine. When I lie down, I go to sleep in peace. You alone, O oh Lord, keep me perfectly safe. Psalm 8 God's Glory and Human Dignity O oh Lord, our Lord, your greatness is seen in all the world. Your praise reaches up to the heavens. It is sung by children and babies. You are safe and secure from all your enemies. You stop anyone who opposes you. When I look at the sky, which you have made, at the moon and the stars, which you set in their places, what are human beings that you think of them, mere mortals that you care for them? Yet you made them inferior only to yourself. You crowned them with glory and honor. You appointed them rulers over everything you made. You placed them over all creation. Sheep and cattle and all the wild animals too. The birds and the fish and the creatures in the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, your greatness is seen in all the world. Psalm 23, the Lord our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall have everything I need. He lets me rest in fields of green grass and leads me to quiet pools of fresh water. He restores my soul. He guides me in the right paths as he has promised. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not be afraid, Lord, because you are with me. Your shepherd's rod and staff protect me. You prepare a banquet before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup runs over. I know that your goodness and love will be with me every day of my life, and I will live in your house forever. Psalm 75, God the Judge. We give thanks to you, O oh God. We give thanks to you. We proclaim how great you are and tell of the wonderful things you have done. I have set a time for judgment, says God, and I will judge with fairness. Though every living creature tremble and the earth itself be shaken, I will keep its foundations firm. I tell the wicked not to be arrogant. I tell them to stop their boasting. Judgment does not come from the east or from the west, from the north or from the south. It is God who is the judge, condemning some and acquitting others. The Lord holds a cup in his hand, filled with the strong wine of his anger. He pours it out, and all the wicked drink it. They drink it down to the last drop. But I will never stop speaking of the God of Jacob or singing praises to him. He will break the power of the wicked, but the power of the righteous will be increased. Psalm 124, God the protector of his people. What if the Lord had not been on our side? Answer, O Israel. If the Lord had not been on our side when our enemies attacked us, then they would have swallowed us alive in their furious anger against us. 
Then the flood would have carried us away. The water would have covered us. The raging torrent would have drowned us. Let us thank the Lord, who has not let our enemies destroy us. We have escaped like a bird from a hunter's trap. The trap is broken, and we are free. Our help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Psalm 127, in praise of God's goodness. If the Lord does not build the house, the work of the builders is useless. If the Lord does not protect the city, it does no good for the centuries to stand guard. It is useless to work so hard for a living, getting up early and going to bed late. For the Lord provides for those he loves while they are asleep. Children are a gift from the Lord. They are a real blessing. The sons a man has when he is young are like arrows in a soldier's hand. Happy is the man who has many such arrows. He will never be defeated when he meets his enemies in the place of judgment. Psalm 141, an evening prayer. I call to you, Lord. Help me now. Listen to me when I call to you. Receive my prayer as incense, my uplifted hands as an evening sacrifice. Lord, place a guard at my mouth, a sentry at the door of my lips. Keep me from wanting to do wrong and from joining evil people in their wickedness. May I never take part in their feasts. Good people may punish me and rebuke me in kindness, but I will never accept honor from evil people, because I am always praying against their evil deeds. When their rulers are thrown down from rocky cliffs, the people will admit that my words were true, like wood that is split and chopped into bits, so their bones are scattered at the edge of the grave. But I keep trusting in you, my sovereign Lord, I seek your protection. Don't let me die. Protect me from the traps they have set for me, from the snares of those evildoers. May the wicked fall into their own traps while I go by unharmed.